This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, I can hear you everything. Oh, okay, right. Thanks. Thanks. Here. Uh, last last what we discussed. Uh, we discussed about the SAP security hierarchies. And then that's the same. So first of all, you're discussing as a uh, role types. So how many types of roles is there? What is the difference between the uh, single role? Okay. Composite role and derived, derived roles. And derived roles. Kind of and, then, things and then we we did about the SAP security hierarchies and yeah. followed by the lab session for the SU53 missing authorization, all those practical yeah. sessions. Yeah. yeah, those things also discussed. Studies also again we have to continuationally is not completed. Okay. So next one, sir. Now we want to creating as a uh, anything where we store is all those things where we store everything will be storing in the format of database level only in database level uh, how the database will be in the format of tables only yep. so now here sir even uh, as a basis concern what we had providing as a table level security also yes, sir. so he is able to access us only this data this guy is able to access only this particular table in application level okay and coming to here, the set tables are divided into totally three types. So one is for standard tables, okay. One is for user tables, okay. One is for role tables, okay. So coming to here, so standard tables are starting letter is yes letters. Any table name is starting with yes letter, you can say sorry, sorry, not yes T letter. Okay, so any table name is starting with T later in calling as a what we call you can calling as a so that is the standard name. For example, uh, sorry, where we store this overall transition code, the table name is the TSTC. What is TSTC here? So you can say full form T stands for table, STC is not for standard transition codes. Okay, all transition codes will be stored in this. And okay. yesterday we were discussing there's a lot of authorization. So I want to know where how many authorization updates is available. Where we store this overall information is nothing but T O B C table for authorization. Next one T act. Okay, T act is nothing but table activities. Okay. Is there any table. tables for audit also? Audit uh, you, may, you mean some uh, we need to track on some user audits. Yeah that, that is also, yeah, that is not table. That is not table. It's so directly out of preparing reports. Stuff you have to go for table, you can go for directly report table. That is also we're discussing today. Okay. Okay. I mean to here. Auditing is basic purpose, not auditing, it's auditing the table. Okay, even any type of table you can just check in as a teacher. That is for only standard table. Okay. So any type of user information. Okay, like uh, where we log on and where you user information like um, uh, sorry, uh, where you're getting is overall user data like user first name, last name. Okay, overall information. So where you're getting is overall information where we finding is nothing but the table name. So all user tables are starting with ESR. Okay, like uh, ESR01 user master data, ESR02 user user address data, user, user logon data, user 0, user 0, user 0, user, user logon data. So like you have kill USR 40 is there. You have USR 440, like you are totally USR 40. Overall user information will be storing in this all table. Coming to next one is the uh, role table. So the role table, any table name starting AGR. Okay. Any table name starting with AJ that is calling as a roles table. Okay, so for example, AGR underscore 1016, AGR underscore P code, AGR underscore USR. Like you have totally 20 40 tables. Is so not that 20 tables. So here, book AGR underscore T code. And AGR underscore US, like you have a lot of table. Any table I'm starting with, say, so that is called as a, a role table. Okay, 
now in real time what we'll do even not what this table anything even a uh, step up to above guys are functional report but any guys so those are able to acting as a tables not at a database level in application level only because even application level you can checking where is store this overall data how you can get the data from database level how you can access the tables is nothing but you can using as only one transaction code the transaction code is the sc16 or sc16 so are you can using as sc16 or sc16 here or sm30 so you can use any transaction code out of this so what we'll do is you have to display the table any type of table you are able to see this these are the transition courses available that's a display purpose you cannot so do any changes yeah so this transition code will help us to display the system tables as well yeah, as the tables also right yes yes overall table structure and type information everything will be display the tables okay, okay. okay now i want to see the overall tables one by one in particular session and even our concept is what is our concept how to providing as a table level security means this guy is accessing only this particular table so this guy is accessing only this particular table so so will be continuation for that also okay now i want to make a present or anyone okay. uh, please share this thing so where you see the table how you can say the table how you can provide engage a table security so how to give the tables to users so you'll be go for one by one okay let me log in you guys able to see my screen right yeah open your opening only the windows is a hundred and nine is open Everything is correct, right? My profile setting, everything is correct, right? Yes, yeah, it's correct. Okay. 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 Yesterday, suddenly it stopped working. Okay. Yeah, I think you transferred to Sayed or Shavar so they can hear. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Sayed? Yeah, you can transfer it to me. Yeah. Please share the screen now. Okay. Yeah, you're able to see the screen now. Yes. Okay. Okay, now go for transition code SC16. Okay. Hmm. okay now enter the any table name suppose i don't know any field name you can using as a like functions so what is the like functions you're using here the like functions is starting with es later starting with u later starting like okay so you can use it a start you know first letter there is fine so now i know the first letter so i don't know any table name i know the first letter so what we'll do p star i want to see the overall standard table how many tables is available just bring t star and browse it Browse option, yes. Just click on browse option, which is showing as all starting T letters. You can see here T triple zero to store the oral client information. T zero eighty eight, T triple zero six. So like, uh, now what are table I want? So I want to know that. So this, what are the software I'm using? How many transaction codes is available for this, uh, this particular? So what are the table name? The ESTC. So it will be only how many S is found now? Star, how many is this found? By default, 200 is found. 200 table is displaying here. Okay. So now our alphabet is TS. So TS means you have to go for so many tables. So then what we do? Close this again. It will display only 200. Now I want to go for TST. TST. TST star. And browse it. Again, it will display as a 200 only. If you are increasing as a number of, now see here how many tables is there totally? 90, 90 tables. 
So, sorry, sorry, 94 is there. Scroll down, where is our TSTC? Scroll down, where is C8? So, these tables are so TST01, TS0, that is also coming. That is, no, no, that is a TST, that is different. TSTC. Is the alphabet, A alphabet only? Is it also A alphabet only? You know that perfect table, you can perfectly type it, but now I want to, how we can searching that. Okay. Yeah, below is the, this is the ASTC. What is the purpose of this? All SAP transition codes will be over this particular transition. Just click the OK button. Now just click on first icon. Can it find? Okay, now here, sir. I don't understand this step. Fail technical field as I want a normal language. So then, how we can go for normal language is nothing but so just go for yeah, go for settings. I don't understand this artistic uh, code uh, dynamic. What is I don't understand that? Just go for uh, field uh, user parameter user parameter here yes, selecting field label means it's getting as not technical like below 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 keyword here field label is it means it's getting us in the format of english language only yes, select the field label now automatically what happened is getting as normal language now click on okay now see what the language is getting english language field the field key code below the these fields Okay, so I want to know the suppose, suppose now I want to just click on execution button. What happened? I'm just clicking execution. What happened? It's displaying overall table. How many tables is displayed totally? There it is. When you just click on execution, it will displaying only 500 because uh, the C here. Okay, see here. So how many SA are found here? Finding only 500. These are transition codes only. Okay, so you're finding only. And sir, I want to know overall all those transition code. How many is available? Okay. Just go back. So before you want to enter the any table, first of all, if you know how many entries is found here. So I want to know that. Just go back. Now just click on number of entries. Just click on number of entries. How many if I is there totally? How many transition is available? One lakh six thousand three hundred twelve is there. Okay, this many transition codes is available. Okay, now close this. So means what we do, you can restrict it. So you have to remove the file with the maximum number of six and just click on remove that. Remove the five hundred bit. This one. There's a maximum bit. Maximum number of pixels then on. Just click on. And click on execution button. Play all the tables. Now under table, how many addresses for everything will be. So you see what I have is taking some time. Previously directly is getting now it's taking because it's loading now. So it's taking some time. See how many entries is for now. So one lakh six thousand eight hundred. So okay, so six thousand eight hundred twelve is everything is this way. Sir, I want to finding my transition code. Here is okay. So I know I'm not asking. This is the first if you want the first column transition code associated with the source of program screen number and Excel display and last one feed title. Now I want to finding as a after this table I want to finding. So we have. Um, all the so I my transition is available this table or not? So just I just click on Control F, just find it and type it. Just use your Control F, find it, hmm, find it. Now enter the table name. Enter the table name. Eh, sorry, sorry. Uh, transition to S two zero one. S two zero transition is fine. Just click on find.
Now see all red red SUG level is highlight. Yellow color is in everything is in the report name and everything. SUG level one, SUG one zero D, SUG level one. Now everything is display here. This is available. Suppose just double click on that SUG level one, automatically it's directly is going to the red. See here, SUG level one, program name, uh, so on, so screen number. What is the purpose of? Okay, like all transition course available here. Okay, clear. So, take it. So, I want to only starting letter S later. Okay, now I want to only starting S later. Just go back. Okay, now I want to only starting S later. So, forget it. Yes, start. And before you want execution, first of all, what would I want to know that number of entries is found? Just you know, number of entries. The people are starting. Starting how many is there totally? 60,000. Out of 1 lakh, so how many is this? 60,000 transition is available for only a starting letter S later. So if you want to check, just click on check it out. So just click on close button and just click on execution. Now it will display. Based on that, you have to remove that maximum number of is. Okay, now click on execution button. Now see here totally six. So all transition goes starting with yes later. Now go back. Now again, I want to start ending with this letter. So what we do? One more star like function. Star is. Again, click on number of entries. First of all, number of entries. So the, so how many is it totally? Ending with this letter star. So I have. Okay, again close it. Between S later. Okay, in between S later. So what we do? Putting as a RS. Then click on execution. Now we go for more than maybe it's already the 60, 60. So you go for more than 70, 70. See here, in, in between or in between. Okay. So then click on execution. Let's play the overall. Means based on the requirement, you can use the like functions. So before star, after star, and between star, you can go one by one. Even not for here, anything in SAP or the browsing option is there, you can search in like this. Okay, We're using as a like functions. Now, so these all tables is there. Okay, fine. Now, next one, sir, I want to know how many options we discussed of options, like how many options is there, how many activities there. Okay, where we check it that? Okay, just go back. Okay, now enter the table name, again go back. Enter the table name. So, we're naming us where we store overall object T O B J. Go back. T O B J, table for authorization object T O B J. Okay, now click on so table for authorization object. Just click on find again. Now see here one object. Now know how many fields is they see here. So object consists of fields. So how many fields is the maximum? Ten is there. Okay, now here totally how many is it total? This. So you have totally six lakh. Sorry, two 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 thousand six hundred one eighty. Sorry, one eighty is there. Okay. Now close this again. Again click on execution button. So it will display as a overall. Authorization object under authorization. What are the fields? Is there everything? See how many, how many fields is available totally? One object you can assign to multiple means how many totally 10 fields is there? See, so just calculate one fields is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Total 10 fields is there. Each object here. This is a section pool. It's a policy. Security policy. Okay, one object is maximum is six. Then after 10 is not anything. After is going as a class. And name and have a description again. Okay, so this is a way up you can check. Now again, if you want any filtering, sir, I want to know. 
starting yes letter because you know, as a basis consultant in all transition code object names starting with s letters only i want to do s letters okay. what we'll do again what we'll do again go by assigning this entities go back again i want to see the only start yes letter are the operation object in what so putting as a yes star Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, A na D na. Click on number of entries out of two thousand. So how many tables is there? How many fields is there? Or how many is there totally? Three hundred four authorization object is fine. Okay, now click on execution button. Let me check it. Yes, click on execution. Now we'll be show. Okay. What are tables? So these are all S and S. So now just click on Control F. You can find it. So basically, you do a lot of things. No, anyone you have to remember, just type it. Just click on Control F and find it. Object name. No, not the, is a object, not a transition. First, you do a lot of missing operation. S underscore team or S underscore S underscore use on the GRP. S underscore transport. S underscore so and so is there. So such any object is there if you want find. Okay, just click on S underscore T code. Then click on Find option. Okay, now double click on that. Okay, it directly is moving to see here. After that, again, S underscore, again, class and object. So everything is just given. Okay, even S underscore, you said GRP below is then all. Okay, so this is a way of your heart to. Next one, activities. So where you say that activity was a table name? Just starting letter. So after that is technical name, react. Go back. The act. This what is here? Table for activities. Okay, again click on no. No, no just click on number of entries. Very less only. No need. Five hundred over. No, I read one ninety eight something is there. It is such as one ninety eight. One ninety eight is available. Then you click on execution button. This is icons. Okay, close this execution. So it will display 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5. Till 19 and days after 19, it's starting as a again. Uh, OG, A, 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 B, A, C, like it is starting. These are all activities. <coughs> okay. Overall, it is activity you can perform, right? Yes, yes, yes. Overall, the activities is just ready right here. Okay, fine. Okay, now these are what are the installed tables are standard tables. Okay, now what we do? So I had to create a lot of users. So when the story is overall information, then you have to go for next table is user table. User table starting letter. Yes, sir. Starting letter. Yes, sir. Just putting a yes, sir, and star. Star and browse it. Browse did not find because it's bro because if it's star, you can only put star in browse option. Instead, you put the standard and full table name. Now I don't know table name, then I'm putting it as star. Now see what is the first one? USR01. What is USR01 here? User master record. That means in SU01, what are the fields is there? Everything will be stored there. Like user address, default, SNS, parameter, rows, profile, everything will be stored into the that is called a user master record. Okay, database level, that is technical. Okay, yes, I want to say, for answer, I want to only log on data. So when is this user is log on? Uh, when is last time is log on? Those information you have to go initial password, repeated password, what are the changes done? So everything you have to go for the search. I want to only address data like a uh, like only last name and then those data you can go for yes sir. So you have to go for any one table first one. Yes sir zero one. Okay, now just click on file now. No, no, you not find it and say close this. Double click on that. Click on now first icon. Click on first icon. Now 
after you have to enter the perfect table, then click on number of entries. How many users is from this table? What could I do? 2,241 tables is available. Okay. Then close this. Now click on execution button. So all users see. See what the fields is have here? Client name, username, startup menu, output device, printer, printing immediately, printer parameter, environment, target, this is available. So I want to know my user ID is available or not. Just click on control F and type the user ID Sayed is available or not. Cancel search after hundred it's right. Maybe remove that. Remove that. Remove the hundred down now. Check the dance and check the current starting with the current line. Okay, okay, fine. Let's go. Find it. This is a mandatory field. That's a mandatory field. So you're finding. Okay, putting as a uh, total how many is a five hundred? You see. Maybe five thousand. Wait, wait, wait. It's doing some mistake previous only. Just go back. Close this. Between mistake, you yeah, are display only five hundred here. See how many is there? Oh, display, display five hundred. Actually, 4,000 is there. Okay, go back. Go back. Okay. Back. Yeah. Before mm -hmm. only, you had to remove the net. Uh, after, you know, 4,000 also, you had to remove that. I had only that. I just click on execution. Now it display. Now just click on control F, it will display. Nice way. Okay, so these are the user IDs. So side one, side two, side three, and the back. Just double click on any way. Anyone double click on anyone user ID, it's automatically displaying to that. Your menu, start menu, output device, find is the output device, printer is available. So you display your user information. Okay, so I want to know that when I'm lost login, okay, when I log in, I want to know these details. So again, one window. Thing is there. Okay, so where we check again, go back and go for next table. Again, find it. You can find it. No, um, yeah, find table contain number of entries. So again, 4000 only. Remove the 500. I click on execution. <coughs> so now see here all what I use ID, what is initial password, validation from validation to user type, what is the group is assigning, how many types you're typing as a password and what. So user log status, accounting number. So and, uh, so if you want to know that, sir, what is 60? I want to know what is 60. So you have to go to 32, 64, 128 is there. Just press F1, help button. So zero is nothing but locked. So not locked. 32 is nothing but locked by the global administrator. 64 is nothing but locked by the local administrator. 128 is nothing but due to the incorrect numbers. The status locked. Status. Okay. Close this. You know, you can find it. How many users are locked status? I don't know. Now we have to find your user ID. Now when you last log on, and what is the initial password? Who has created your user ID? Again, Control F. Find it. So you like not up. You can find it again. Just click on find. Double click on anyone user ID. 
now see in the initial past for the validation we don't write anything user type a i pass it i'll explain that so in need current password till i don't typing any password wrong user log status is okay and who's created this that is created by the basis so remaining or you can create your only so when is creating 307 to so 2018 and next one is the last log on date many last log on last log on time everything is available okay okay fine then go back Any other table, yes, sir. Zero only address data. Like how many tables is there? Yeah, totally 40 tables is there. 33. Only who are having is address is only 32 users having address data. Remaining are just normally. See here, client user name, 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 name. Last name was a piece of last name and the for department. Room number, street number. Okay. <coughs> okay, so you're running this last name also is not storing here, just not mistake. Okay. Then, okay, now next one. Okay. AGR tables. All rules are how the rules are storing. You have to go for AGR star. So I want to go again one by one, check it how many tables is available. Again, browse option. Again, see what is the table here? AGR underscore 1016, AGR underscore 1250, AGR underscore, this is all tables. So that is always same. What do you mean AGR 1016 is? Name of the activity and proof of profile. What, you, what are the activities storing for? Particular profile, you will be storing, you will be checking that. Okay. So AGR underscore 1250. Two tables will be common. So see, two two tables are very common. Okay, but logical different maybe the field difference are not okay. Suppose I want to know that uh, sir, one role how many composite roles is available? I want to know that which table is there here? Roles in composite roles. Okay, now again find it. Yeah, that is only perfect. <coughs> what you done? Close this. Double. No, no, just click on first icon. First icon only. AGR underscore AGR is correct. No, no, table name is correct. Just first icon. How we can monitor this? First icon only. We'll click on it. Rolls in component rolls. Okay, the first icon, field contain. Okay, number of entries. Just click on number of entries. How many rows is there? So, totally 1128 is there. Just close it. 500. Just click on execution button. So, it will be sure. So, if you know any table name in a composite program, so that's what you're creating a lot of now. Just click on control F. That composite, uh, prof that composite role, what are the single rows is available? Yeah, what are the provided? Which uh, is there? Yeah, let's find it. Yeah, star underscore com. No, Z led. It should be called Z all. Okay, no, no, Z led, Z. Z S seven underscore C O M P. Hmm. The two is there. just double click any one row. Mm, so that one. So what are the that is the composite row? Those are the single rows. Okay. Again, double click on that particular row. It is showing us the same table. No, no, salary is there. Okay, only one row. That one row you have two single rows. What are the two single rows here? Yeah, double click on that just double click. yeah that's okay no no it's all that there. okay just seven eight how many table how many rows is there no no just no need to go back so jsa two composite how many single rows is available 
combos with two level that I'm showing four of the J6, J7. Those are the two single rows. Okay. So like again, J composite with two how many rows is this? Check it here one by one. So composite is nothing. So everywhere here two, two, two is there. Okay. Fine. Okay, then go back. Next one. AGR underscore T code. Again, and T codes. T code. There, there. Okay, then click and find. What is the purpose of this table? There. AGR underscore T. It's a roll. Okay, no, no. Okay. When you're putting a star, you can browse option. We directly enter over our table. No need to find again. Okay, now just click on that. Uh, you don't know that we are doing so you can browse it okay now so you can number of entries again to each role 40,000 is there okay 40,000 this is a transition code again to connect to 100 Okay, now find any role name, just click on controller, give the any role name, any single role or composite role, any that particular role, what are the what are the uh, transition rules available? Give the any role name. That that is sound that is sound just try that is sound. That role, what are the transition rules available? Yeah, yes, okay. So, seven. How many transitions available? SM50, SM51, SM66. Internet SQL SM7, one other the roles is available. Same role. It's not waiting. Okay, Jedan SQL composite. What are the what are the roles is there? LSMW, SM56, so on. So, see here. It's showing that. Double click on it. Otherwise, just double click on it. Showing as overall later. Select particular role. Just click on that. Showing as overall. Not clicking. No. Right. See here. What are the role? What are the transition? Extended name. Extended name. That is a technical name. Field name. Mm -hmm. What are the role? What the transition is there? S L S L S L W. S M S M S S T one S one S S T one S and two reports. Same thing. You have to go copy that thing. One guy guys copy. But the copy does not check. Same. Same transition is available. Just as I say, it's composite. Uh, see, actually, I got stuck with the screen. It's stuck, correct? No, no, I think. Hello. You can go back. You can check it. Yeah, video got stuck. Now, now I can see the changes. Whatever you are. Now, now it's good. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Click on execution. You were able to see me. I'm able to see everything. What do we do until now? Okay. Now find just find any table name. Sorry, any role name? Yes. Sorry. Now double click on anything. Now it's showing everything. SM50, SM51, SM66. Okay. Just anyway, it's copy. Same thing is available. If you want to see anything, just double click. It's showing there. Okay, this is the way. And next one, sir, I want to know one role how many users is assigning. Okay, same role, how many users will be assigning? How to check it? Okay, again putting AJ star. AJ star? Star, putting AJ star. Yeah, that is common. But you know that it, how many table? I want to know where the table is available. Okay, browse it. Browse it. Putting AJ star, you can do compulsory browsing. Hmm. Scroll down. AJ underscore, yes. Users. So that you're doing you so what is that meaning of assignment of roles to the user particular role what are the users is assigning so it will display just click on that there are two tables user yes and user yeah D. both are will be same but both will be same yeah all i say not to so ever see that four tables are common assignment okay. of the figure four tables are common everywhere common 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 is like some previous one is common okay. 
Okay, you can click this one or this one. Anyone you can take. Anything, anyone take uh. it. Why, why like that, uh, Sri? Any specific reason for giving multiple table names? No, no, no. I don't know. If it is designing department, then I don't know that. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's a multiple. Okay, multiple that way, maybe. Okay, total three. Now just click on give any other name. Give any role name. I want to know which user is assigning this. Again, it's not available. Hmm. Is there just click on it? So, what is the user is assigning? Is assigning to the prevent, prevent, prevent. Okay, when you is assigning, so starting date and ending date and uh, date of last time, what you have written, which do changes. Okay, so everything is available. okay. So, these are the ways we will put to see any type of tables. Basically, three tables, basically, only three tables. Standard table, user table, and role tables. Okay, this is the way of you want to count. Now, what we do? I want to restrict it particularly because of sorry, everybody see the overall data. Then where are you providing security? Again, what you can providing as a table level security, not for you. Even above department or finance department, FICO tables or so on so table. Any type of table you want to restrict it that. So how to restrict it that? So log on to Western Hagu user ID once again. Now how to restrict the tables to the Particular user ID. Okay. This, so, this so information we can copy to the Excel sheet also. This uh, all these. No, 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 no. There's not reports. No, no, no. no, 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 no we don't. We don't want. Not. That is reporting is different. Oh, no, this is not showing. Okay. Cannot do anything. Okay. So, so no export option for this. Right? No export option for this. No, no, this is no expert option. So that's why you have to prepare the reports. That is different. Okay. And here only you can prepare the report and what the purpose of BW consultant and even BI with database days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now go for Raghu user ID. Log on to now how to go for now. Again, the security concept. How to restrict the table. This guy is able to only this preparing this table. This guy is able to only this, this table. How to restrict it there. Okay. Now log on to uh -huh. Raghu. Best of the same Raghu, code. What is the Ragu password? Cisco 123. Cisco C capital. C capital, right? Okay. Hmm. Okay, now what we'll do? So yeah, go for transaction. Go. How are you able to see the table? Yes, it's yes, 16. Yeah, type the SC 16. So what happened again? Error. What the error is there? You are not able to correct. You do it a correct one. So uh -huh. see error. What is Yeah. Why I am not author again? Where we go? Yes, so you have to go. Yes. Yes. Here only. Where are you getting it? There only you can go there. Yes. Yes. Su. Su. Fifty three. Right. That authorization. Su. Fifty three. Which authorization update is missing? And uh, what is the why is not authorized? See, what authorization is missing? S underscore T code under again. Yeah, copy the object. Hmm. Now, where we go? You have to go for master user ID. Master user ID, the Sayyad is the master user ID. And sir, how you know that? Raghu, what are the role I have? So I forgot the role name. How you know that? Means what we'll do? We'll log on to Sayyad user ID. Already log in. Already log in Sayyad user ID. For Sayyad user ID. Hmm. Yeah. Go for transition. I want to know, Raghu, what are the roles they are having? SU01, SU01, role, user, users, slash, and you can use the slash, and you want to navigate in one to one, and enter the Raghu user ID. Just click on change button. Now, sir, I want to know this particular guy, what are the roles you gave yesterday? Go for roles and double click on that. Which is you restricted? Yeah. Click on that. Okay. 
Okay. Now go for authorization tab. It's displaying only click on change button. Display mode is there. Change button. So click on change. Yes, just learn change. F6, right? Yeah, that is you just press F6. Click on, click on that. Okay. No problem. Just click on that. Uh, now it's changed. Okay, now click on change authorization data. No. Now, control F. So, so Sri, one to just one quick thing. For this Ragu user, right, we assigned the two roles, right? That eleven and that yes. underscore Ragu, right? So this yes. SD sixteen key code, we can add it to any one of the roles. It's not a problem, right? Which one? No. Oh, yeah, now we are going to add. Yeah. Now we are going to add. Yeah, yes. to know, the, uh, Z school eleven is what are the transition quiz? How we can restrict the resource? We can add it. No problem. Do you want to know that? Okay. What are the other options we are having? What are the transitions are having? Okay. Yeah. Basis administration say just click administration. Mm -hmm. No, just click on Control F. Just click on Control F. No need to finding anything. Just click on Control F. Paste the object. Just click on find the object. Automatic is open. Now below one, below one, not data. That is you're adding menu tab, you're adding manual yesterday. Give the transition code SC16. SC, SC is Save it. Okay, now click on generate. Now check it now is able to doing or not. Now go for Raku user ID. Check it now is able to accessing SC16 or not. No, no, this is in already log very long. Yeah. Next one, next one, next screen. Yeah, display, uh, display uh, this one, yes. Yeah. Again, we have to take the debug option. Yeah. Again, go for SG53. Again, go for SG53. Copy the, what is it? Uh, 0, 03 is missing. Yeah. Again. Paste it, find it. Nothing is found, so you can add another value. Okay, now again, click on Control F. You can find now. Now is there. Give the activity. Click on display, save it, yes, save. Now, below authorization groups. So, authorization group, suppose you're putting a star at the day, what happened? He's able to access every table. For example, I just click on save. Generate. Now, go back, go to the. Now, so guess go back. Maximize it, maximize it. Command P, fine. Now go for transition C16. Hmm. Okay, enter any table like eh? USR01, USR02. Hmm. Now go for the
and now is able to display not this any table is acting but what is our target now check that table actually is acting only this particular table what is the mistake you are doing in authorization group you are putting at the star means is able to acting any number of tables is acting all tables acts now what i do so i want to give that this guy is acting only this particular table how you can go for you can go the you want to creating your own authorization group how to create the authorization group so that is our target so go for sayed user id now go for how to create the authorization group so what is the purpose of you have previously created the user group it is only for this is for authentic for table purpose okay how to create the authorization group go for transaction code esc64 you have to be in your id sir not in raghu id oh sorry hmm okay now go for go for uh, now slash and use it and slash and sc5656 how to create the authorization group and restrict them this guy is acting only this table this guy is acting only this table okay then you have to create the table sorry you have to create the group so select the radio button authorization group tha radio button tha radio button hmm. then just click on create We already but if it's some standard groups, it's saying some standard table. So these are the standard table is there. So this all group, which are the as object is effective, is there table? What object is object? What object is code ab underscore this above above. See that table. Table and above that above that above above. Table underscore this. Yeah. So that is the authorization object to restricting as any type of tables. Okay. Then I want to create my own group and assigning as a some tables. Okay. Then click on new entries. Okay. Now give the group name. So group name also should be company static Jedi Violet. So J Drago. J R A. Will not be J folder name. Proper name is not taken. J R A. Okay. Give the description. Author edition group for tables. So this is C fifty C. Used to main create and maintain the authorization group, right? This is F fifty six, not F C fifty six to create the groups and assigning to the particular tables. This is F C fifty six. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, right? F C fifty six, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then click on save button. All to assign that group to the particular table. Okay. Now create a request. Just click on the create button. I will explain what is that. Is it going to create create button? Fourth icon. Hmm. Now give the short description. Table transactions. Click on Save button. Okay, now click on Okay. Now I want to assign this authorization group to particular group tables. Click on Okay. Yeah. Click on okay. That's okay. Now select the radio button. Yes, fine. Go back. Yes, then go back. Again. Assign the author edition to particular table. Select the radio button. Fourth one. Fourth one. Fourth one. Assign, assign, say below. Below one. Below, below, below. Under author edition below is the fourth radio button. Fourth radio button. Yes. Now click on create and change. Now. Check that checkbox. No table. I want to assign my attention to table. Uh, click on. Okay. Now give the table. Which table you are to providing as a authorization? Give the table name. 
hgr underscore suppose you are zero one to you are ten you are able to see that you okay, the from and to value Go that everything you are zero one table to zero one to you are zero four sorry not two more two yes sir zero four okay two are fine you are zero four click on okay Table dancing fine. Okay, now remove the journey is then remove the authorization group. You have to provide your own authorization group. Middle bit, middle column. J R A J R A J R A. Any is then instead of any, you can putting as your group name. By default, already somebody changing. Remove that. Remove that. J R A. What is the group you creating? J R A. J R A. J R A. No, save button. Again, click on OK button. Okay, now go back. Okay, now this group I guess enter the particular role. Okay, go for that role. Raghu roll. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah. No, not this. This is the Sayyid user ideally go for Raghu roll. Okay. Go for PFCG. And just a can change button, change it. No, J Dragon, the table role name is J Dragon. Click on change. Previously, Jet underscore Ragu. Jet underscore Ragu. Art edition tab. Yeah, change. Okay, now click on Control F. What is the authorization object to restrict the table? Let's go table and let's go this. Yeah, paste it out to S and let's go paste it. Already copy some paste it. Say paste. Control V. Yeah. Click on Find. Now below what I have been previously providing some authorization object. What authorization object? Sorry, authorization group you are providing. What other information is charged? Everything missing. Okay, uh, click on mm -hmm. change it. Give you a group name. What is the group name here? JRE. Mm -hmm. Then click on save button. Mm -hmm. Okay, now click on. Now, what happened? What is our output? Now is able to access only four tables. What is the full table? ESR01, ESR02, ESR03, ESR03. Other than this, thing. happen is getting as one error. And click on generate. Then check it now. Go for Rago user ID. Go for XS16. Enter the user and user user zero one is able to exit. Okay, just click on display. Now find it. Now is able to display. Click on that. Other than this four table, what are that group? What are the tables is available? Yes, sir, zero one, yes, sir, zero four. Those only. Suppose you're typing yes, sir, zero five. 
is getting error. Not authentic display. Why? Again, what we do? Go for a translation code. Yes, if you put it, check it. What is the group is missing? Slash and user slash. See what a group name it is. Group name is and then give that group name. Yeah. See the group name here. But that group is not created by us, right? Uh, Sri? No, no, that is standard one. Oh, standard one. Okay. Mm. Not this. You are acting any table that automatically adopts. The alteration of you creating your own group. Like how many groups is there? A lot of groups is available. Mm -hmm. Find it. Yeah, now just click on yes in the group. Some guys are using JNN1. If you want a sticky, you have to give it to your group name only. JN1. Save it. Okay, now click on generate. So the previous case also the authorization default group might be there, right? That are way we created, right? So the default one also might be there, right? So we can key in that default one, right? Yeah, you can providing default also, no problem. Okay. But I want to know that how you can go for the default, how you go different. Okay. Suppose now what happened, I was able to access. Okay. So now we tried one with the default one and one with the creating the group matching it, right? And assigning it. Okay, now add that uh, other table. Like uh, T. We start the table. T. X. T. X. So again, now check it. What a group is missing? Yes, yes, yes. It is also standard. Again, give that. Those app means every table is assigning to the some standard group. Okay. Okay. If you want to creating also, you can do that. But you have to remove the standard group and you have to customize it, so you can do this process. And one more, uh, yeah, okay. And one more thing, uh, Sri, in the Zatari, when we create a Zatari group, right? Mm. We are given the table name from one to right, like USR 01205. Yes. So, is there any, like, let's say if I want to uh, give all the USR tables some pattern matching can be done or individually how, how to do that? From one to value can give it. USR 01 to USR 40 can provide it. If I want to give some pattern matching kind of stuff, not possible there, right? Not possible. There is not. You have to give the compulsory from value to value with the dollar. Okay. Okay. So if we, let's say if I have some BW objects, it's like it starts with the slash BIC slash B009 something. Mm. So I cannot give like slash BIC slash B star something like that. No, no. Just you have to give the full and from and to value. Then only you can respond. Star is not. Oh, okay. Okay, so now check it. We Sorry. have to enforce the from and two value. We have to enforce the from and two yeah. value. Right? So yes, if, yes. It, if it's alpha numeric is okay, let's say if only alpha, then in that case, how the table name is only alpha, then? Alpha mean like, uh, okay, alpha, like alphabetic. Yeah, like, like just now, right, this particular table, TSTC, right? The standard yes. table starts with the T, right? T letter, right? Yes, so yes. How, to, how to restrict that particular thing? No, that you have to give a T S T to like T S T to T three, like you have to specify overall. Oh, from right. So you mean to say T S from will be T S and then. Uh, no, T S T C to T S or something other like again. What is start T S T C to again? This all T S data one to T L whatever. How many tables you restrict everything and give it. Okay, so it will be like T S T zero one two. 
Yes, I yes, I'm not sure it works based on a pattern only, right? It works based on a pattern matching, right? No, pattern is not taking. Pattern matching is not. For example, try once, just close it. Yeah, can we create one for alpha? Uh, go for uh, SC64. Sorry, SC54. Uh, with the norm, not here, not here, not here. here uh, oh, Raghu, Raghu, uh, Sayed, Sayed, you are using it. Go for SC64. Uh, SC, SC, SC Yeah. Create, create a new group. Create, create after. Yeah. Just create, create a new group. Click on new entries. Create like Raghu underscore standard says. That test Yeah, that test Something like that. Uh, description. Here's some description. Mm. I think it's taking four letters only. No, no, just yeah, give no, that T S T. That's it. That T S T something is enough. The D S T. Okay. Yeah, standard table. Z T and the No, the description give us a standard table. Ragu standard table. Save it. Save it. Okay. Yeah, create request correct. Standard table description, yeah. Something like that. Click on okay. Okay, correct. Let's click on that. Now I this particular tables. Go back. And go back. Just click uh, that fourth uh, and create. Yeah, table name. Table. And okay. Maybe. Right, you remove that T star is a T S star. T S star. No T T, 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 T. standard table T. Zero one like this, huh? Or no, no, just no, no. yes. Just T S. Yes. T S that's it. TS to T. No, no, only from values, no fine. Just bring TS star. TS star. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, two value must be greater than the from value. <laughs> this is nothing. Yeah. Uh, it takes only the range values only, I think. So. The last. Mm -hmm. uh, Right, that is why I have to try my star values as an item with the browsing option is there. Okay, try that. No, no, maybe say just TS star, right? Click browse, let's see. Yeah, browse is nothing but it's getting overall table names. Oh, okay. T hmm. Browsing is taking overall table names. It's no from one value and two values. So see again, oh. it's overall table name. It's not going based on the pattern. Hmm. Okay, just close it. Go back. Okay, fine. It's okay. So this is the way of doing as a table restrictions. Okay. Fine. Now here, so I want to prepare this is overall like a table restriction. So now here, so I want to like you say now, sir, you are such a table. I want to know. Uh, I want to prepare a report, Lloyd. Okay, how the reports are preparing? Okay, how you can preparing as a reports? So what are you trying to? Even I want to know, sir, your sir, multiple members are working on SAP software. How you know that? 
who are create this user id or change this user id so anybody deleting anybody doing illegal activity only for user level how we can do tracing and how you can prepare the report you can calling as a user tracing you can calling as a user information so that's why okay how the report go for transaction code yes you yeah yes you i am i am i am user i am user information system means overall user details like anything you can preparing as a reports by using this okay okay now we here this one you have only execution button okay if you do any changes everything is recording this suppose now i'm logging as a client number 800 with say you say you do any changes for user level role level profile level authorization of everything what happened it show it show sorry what happened showing as storing to the gear only how we can monitoring that and how we can prepare a report based on okay gear only so as you am see what happened here use don't central central check now we are local administrator user by complex selector criteria okay explain that is also the one user by comp no no that is no 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 user only selection criteria close minimize everything again you are confusing expand the users once again expand the users mm, below one user no no that is central administrator now you are below one yes user by yes okay here what happened here only execution purpose there is no create icon there is no change icon because uh, this is purpose reporting tool Sir, everybody is working, and multiple members are working. Some client members, so on, so. Then what happened? How we can tracing that? Who is doing? Who are deleting that? This table? Who are deleting as a, so on, so. Who are changing the role name? Who are assigning some transaction? How we can tracing based on this transaction? This is for only tracing purpose and reporting purpose. Other than there is no. But it is very very useful for. Other I told now, S U fifty three is a daily transaction code, and S U I M also daily transaction. But you want to know. Particular user ID, what are the resources available? Instead of your table, so coming to here, you can prepare the report. Okay. Now, first so of all, yeah. this report will give only about the authorization changes or the user so, level. Like user level, role level, profile level, authorization level, comparison, anything, any changes. So even but only user. Level. Even transaction. Yeah, also it Yeah, it transaction. What you said, what are the roles? What are the transaction is assigning? One uh, one role, what are the transaction is assigning? One profile, what are everything will displaying that. So we can say like audit audit report, is... uh, audit report for a user, right? This something like audit report. Yes, 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 exactly, like exactly. For example, now what are the user you creating? I like user. So every ninety day happen the password is automatical. Every ninety day the password expiration is going on. If you extend it, also extend by default is. 80 days. Okay, after 80 days, password is prepared. And that is what happened. My client is a Sweeney. He had to prepare the report in 800 client. What are the user IDs are password is expiration. And what we'll do? You coming to here? I can check it out. Okay. Here only. I will explain that. For okay. how many days this data will be stored in the database? Wait. No, no. The database is not happened only. There is no. no. I'm saying license information. Okay, what is the user ID creating? Yeah, user ID. Ninety days. The user ID license is expired. After that, you not able to log on. So then again, what we do? You are informed the basis counselor or security consultant. Those extend the license. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That is, that is for the particular user if locked, right, Sini? This particular report data, right? For how many days this report data? No, no. There is no. There is no report data is multiple. There is no restriction. So oh, it will be stored uh, unless otherwise we run an archive job. The data will be available. Yes, yes. Backend is available till is available into the tables level. Okay. Okay. So it, actually the reports are preparing an Excel sheet now. Here only displaying only. You can even downloading and you have to make an Excel sheet or even database level. Okay. Yeah. Now go for just one. Use the first one. Just click on first one. User by complex criteria okay selected criteria just click on execution but here only one thing execution only we don't have any other things so we select sayed sir will give you a video sayed no raghu will select 
give anything and uh, just click on execution button. I'll say see here username, full name, group name, accounting, log status, validation from validation to user type. Okay, and I want to know this particular user ID, what are the roles is available? Select the user ID, just click on above, 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 roles, just click on roles. Okay, now see how many rows is there? Two tables is sorry, two rows is available. Okay, even you can downloading also. Hmm. You can now above is there a downloading option? Mailing also there. No, 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 the day above. No, next one, next one. Mail option. After mail option, you are downloading export. There only mail icon is there, no? mail, mail, sending mail. No, the right arrow. Hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, no. That is mail. Left side. Next one. No, next one. Left side. Left side. Left side. After mail, left side. Ah, uh, next next one. <laughs> you do that. It is all I can only remember. Remaining all I can remember. No, no. Yes, but the right arrow symbol. Say yes. Right arrow. Green right arrow. Yeah, this one. Uh, this one. Yeah. Find the next one is mail. Yeah. Uh, okay. That mail and next one is a local file. You can download all along next sheet. You can directly mail to the your team mail. RS. Eighth icon, next one, eighth icon. You were selecting ninth icon, the eighth icon. Plus two eighth icon. Local file. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is one. Yeah, just click on local file. So you can download in the parameter actual sheet. Again, it's gonna come under notepad parameter, so you can prepare anything. Okay. Close it. Okay, now again go back again select that I want to know this particular uh, no 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 execution again not completed execution again mm. Mm. again again the user ID again profile 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 that particular user ID, what are the profile is assigning? So these are the profile is assigned. Okay, then go back. Hmm. Again, change your document like who are created, when is log or when is unlocking. So everything is available here only. But it's not available if you can check in the data. Okay, this actually is getting in real time, but it's not taking data is not picked properly. So like who are changing who are it everything is available one by one one by one okay this is one now go back next one now go back again now by user id again by user center by role again it's showing say by role go for by role Any guy they need role. I want to know this role. What are the user ID is assigning? General is okay. Okay. Again, same thing or not? The user ID is assigning that particular role. Again, what we do? Now you're searching role level okay by role you want to specify the role that particular role what are the user ids available showing okay again go back oh, it's a report by role yes a to b a b a play a to b b to a same thing go back again now you have to give the any profile name by pro we have to give the profile name that perfect profile how many which is considered that particular protocol. Click on execution. Suppose I want to know, so SAP underscore all this profile members will be having. Okay, enter that mm, SAP underscore all and execution better. Mm. Now see how many members will be there totally? 696 members will be having is SAP underscore all authorization. Okay, so your user ID also 
or the addition. So let's see when it's going. Okay, again, go back. Addition. So I want to know that. No, no, I didn't say. Addition. Give me a tradition update. S underscore T code. How many members will be having this S underscore T code? Let's click on execution button. Okay, this is all. Okay, 770 members. Is okay, total how many members? 770 members to be that authorization update. Again, in authorization update, I wanted the value based. Like again, uh, by authorization values. Click on again, enter the authorization update, S underscore T code. Click on entry values. Entry values. Now you go for artists value activities means. No, no, I know transaction code. That is it. The object is transaction code. You have to get the transaction code. Yes, you do. Okay, now click on execution button. So how many percent? Okay, this object with uh, with that uh, value. The value is so just good. You have to have this many members. So change the so okay, change the, okay. This is the poor error. Seven hundred forty. Let's be there. Yeah. Now okay, go back. Okay. By turn now. I want to get out there, but some transition for this transition. Come on, members, back. Click on that. By out there. Give the transition. Any transition code? Sorry, SU01. How many users will be accessing as SU01? I want to know that. So then click on execution button. Anything I want to occupy anything? So how many members are in the SU that are SU10? How many? Totally. 743. Members are having the one. Again, go back. Means what happened? You know, one thing perfectly remaining all tracing. Means you have to give some input value and automatically you have to give the proper input. Okay. Now next one is a with unsuccessful logon. Till now, how many members are typing as a wrong password, even maybe not logging properly. I just click on execution. So everybody getting at the list who are not logging. Below is the see here. How many users is available? So you're not calculated, just below is there. So user list is there. Below, 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 below. Below is a user, user group, user type, creation, trading on, validation from validation. So the password typing logs here, yeah, all the status, what happened, log status is there. See what log, log, see the log, invalid password and log reason also there. Log, log field, log field. Okay, is locked. So incorrect log, log uh, everything is locked. Administrators manually log or incorrect, incorrect logons also there, not in use. Okay, so everything is displayed one level. Can go back. So now I log on it and password change. Actually, every company policy what happened every 90 days you want to change the power. Every 90 days you want to change the your password, but you're not able to change it. I want to know that who are not changed to the till last 30 days, so 90 days only who are not changed the password. When you're doing as a work for a home option, what happens? Some guys are not logging properly. Then you can check it. Last was the window. Last log on. Bill means I want to checking last 30 days and last 90 days. And just username is putting star. Just username star, group name star, and give the days. 
below is the fourth one number of days just lost again what the option no no that is the log on below one is the password change read that for um, since days to last log on that is the above one put it how many days we weren't able to see that since how many days you're not able to log on give them not, not that much but 90 days no everybody log on 30 days or 10 days like that execution but it will display say who got last 30 days to 10 days onwards and last 90 day no one who are not change the password just click on execution button it is displaying as who when you give this what is input you are given automatically data is so what is that last date means 0407 2018 onwards who are not logging and next one last pair password last 15th 04 2018 okay that is it after you get the message yes three months here who are not change the password so below you're getting the user list see here last login 2006 2006 2006 the password is changed or not that are some things also This is the other thing. You are downloading as exclusive partners. You can filter it also. Okay. Yeah. Again, go back. Third thing. This is only for reporting. So till now, what we discuss, you are discussing only for user level. Now I want to go for role level also. What we do now? So you have to enter the profile name, number of users is there, particular role, what are the user ID is there, particular transition code, how many users is assigning, particular array, how many users is everything is checking one by one. Now you want to go for roles. Expand the roles. Now okay, again, you by give the by just click on uh, execution button. Mm. That is not by default um, role by complement means everything is. Mm. You know. Common. Give the by role name. You have to specify any role name. That particular role, what are the user? Okay, everything is displaying. You can click on execution button. This particular role, what are the user IDs? Is they what are the proper? So you yeah, go for second icon. What is the second icon? First one only, major everything is display one thing. User assignment. Second icon, second icon. User list. This particular role, what are the user is assigning? Click on that. So, what are the user is again? Okay, then go back. Again, it's previously also. Again, go back. Now, I want to test uh, role. What are the profile is there? Just click on that. This is the profile. Okay, that back. Again, go back. Okay, composite tool. How many can you composite? No, you don't have anything. It's a good click on no. Next one, the single or only one single rule. Next one, transaction assignment. This particular rule, what are the transaction courses available? Again, it's display. Okay. Again, go back. No, no, go back. That's enough. Remaining is not all I can so. Okay. Now again, go back. That is a user by complex criteria by user assignment. So you're not giving any name. user ID. What other role is it displaying? It's taking the pick on execution. Okay. So, how many rows is also in it? Two rows. About same icon, user list, profile, everything same. Transition is same. Again, transition. You have to get any transition code. That transition code, how many roles will be assigned the transition code? Previously, what happened? Previously, 
after you have a one user level what will happen here that particular transaction code how many members will be having so how many users will be now is getting a roles list this transaction code how many rows will be there So how many rows is available that transition code totally 19 rows is available okay then go back here yeah, we don't have just leave it. profile assignment no need to put profile name as it next one authorization object Give any authorization object that particular authorization object. How many SNS code T code authorization object? I see totally how many other how many rows is assigned in the author update totally 225 rows is available all standard rows are customizing rows may be last maybe last yeah that is one jet drag was in check with those rules okay creation with the values any authorization object s underscore yes underscore grp us s underscore yes sir us er no no is there s underscore yes sir you know us er user user underscore grp let's go grp Click on entry values. Entry, entry, the uh, zero, one, zero, two. What are the activities you want? Hmm. Click on execution. So it will be displaying as a whole. How many rows is it? 59 rows with the data is not with the activity. Okay, now go back again. Date. What time to like this particular uh, this particular date to this particular date? So who is changing or everything is changing? Give the particular date and particular time. Date created by Raghu. Just click on Raghu user ID. So as I as user ID. Give user ID only. Say so user ID. What are the changes is done? What are the roles is done? Just click on execution. No need to date. You don't know date. Just click. Just click on it. Click on execution. These are the these rules is creating. Okay. Then go back. So like everything is one by one same only, but most important here change of documents because of this is the one. Go back, remaining all profile, authorization object. Go back again. No, these are same remaining profile. Everything expanded and execution button. Expanded execution button. So now everything same. Okay, same authorization. So you have to give the proper input. You're getting a though. But here important is change your document last one expand the last one change your documents means who are changing who are create my user id i want to know that who are changing my password who are locking my user ID. so everything i want to know that. yeah from a user level so i want to go for from user level from users do they need so i want to know that who are created who are to change what are the changes here Change the date and time. What time to what time? The last one we can merge. Hmm. Give the date format properly. Hmm. 
Now click on execution. Okay, now see here. Who are created the Raghu user ID? And uh, 13.04.2018. So see that time. The creation is done and what a profile is added. What is the uh, profile is added? So everything is one by one. Okay. So supposing if I uh, go and delete my uh, Sayyid user ID, because so Sayyid, with Sayyid uh, we have created a, another users and uh, assigned profiles and all. So if I delete yeah, this one, sure. the, yeah, is uh, all also. those profiles and roles will still exist? Yeah, till is exist here. You can it is available. That is not even the profiles is available. You take okay. a standard profile. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You can try saying anywhere. Go oh, any deletion also done. That is also you can take it. Same thing. Role. You have to give the role name. Who are we that role? What are transition is assigning? Same thing. Role assignment. Role name, role name, not user ID. Role name, role name. No, no, role name. Just select the week. Either week, month is there, or week, month below. Change the date. Today you only do that. You don't need putting a star. You are putting a star. Just putting a star. No need to put the role also. Just putting a star. Today you don't need any role, na. Just click on week, week, week. Putting as week. It's automatic date will be changed. See last one we got. User name also you can putting a star. Username also put stars. Username. I click on execution. Showing last one maker with that particular user ID. What are the changes is there? All guys. Okay. ABC user ID, role name, whatever the transition is, who are changed, changed by the server and the transition is assigning. But the last name, starting date, ending date, so everything is available. See that? Okay, use the Ragu user ID, what are the role is assigning, and uh, what are the transitions is assigning, when the changes is done. Yes, this is ready. What are the role is creating, so everything is available. Okay, go back. Okay, again, from there is also role from roles, that's fine. Okay, same thing with display. Now say it. No need. Just put a star. Just putting star. No need to do it. No, no need to put anything. Just putting a star. Say so, is already by default taking week. Just click on week. Week last week on was say it. What are the roles is creating? So here, what are the changes that is done? Just week, week, week. Change the date. Okay, done. Okay, now first you can select anything. Say what are the deletion also? Just select the radio button. What are the use? What are the roles is creating? What are the roles is deleting? Select elements. Change the document is over. The, everything is this. Everything is displaying. Over use nothing but overall. What are the changes? Everything is. But now I want only specification. It's creating and everything. Overall change. So, last one. You have to go for single single. That will be. Uh, no need. No need. No need to specify anything. Just click on execution. So see this many changes is done. What is the role name is there? So seven now. Okay, change it to be seven. Hold on. What is what happened? Everything is there. Tools. What is the role What are the roles and what are the authorization object? So everything. What are the changes is and everything is recorded. Basis user twelve. Syed. Hold on. Hello, is there? The Rago user ID is creating. What are the changes is done? Okay. Everything, each and every line, every second answer will be recorded. How the recording is, I will explain later. Okay. Here. And even you do comparison also. Like one role, what are the other options? It is there. One role, what are the Transition, you do the comparison. So this is for only change of documents. So, this all change documents can we just mail it? Is it? 
Yeah, you can mail also. Also, you can download. You can downloading also in format that all are the same, na? So you have to download it. So all download options there, na? Download, na? Mail it fast. Downloading option also. Next time, you can use the downloading. Okay. So can we automate like this, like uh, uh, every day check all the change or or uh, anything user uh, pass? Really yeah, not daily. You can do that. So you can monthly, quarterly, based on our daily reporting purpose. But this we have to do it manually. But the, anything scheduling, some report or some code we need to write it. Yeah, it scheduling like reporting us. Reporting us. So there again, like what we do, not scheduling is not done. Or like automatic report preparation. Yeah. Uh, automatically prepare. Yeah. Uh, only preparing the report. That's it. We need to still. Log on and check the report. Is it like that, or yeah. does it send that yeah, automatically to the email? But automatically, the reporting also the same thing. Instead of you have to go for the hard reporting also, there how the reports will be going on. Uh, same what by kind of in SGM is there the report is also is available. But so you have to ask for we have to schedule in background, but you don't getting as report. You don't getting as downloading, but you have to scheduling daily. So you want to running at this. Uh, So as a report, you can schedule it daily, weekly, monthly. You can schedule it as a background, but you cannot download it. Okay, but here when you come into manual only, you can have a downloading option is there. For example, how you can prepare it, uh, running as a report in background mode is nothing but just go back. So go for open the transition code, SC thirty eight, SC thirty eight. S E S C thirty eight. Read the report name R S U S R star. So you're getting all user report R S U S R U S R star. Now you have U S R zero zero U S R one. So but again, if you're running this also, you're getting as a same code. It's getting as a all report. Browse it. RSUSR 000, RSUSR 001, RSUSR 002. What is the meaning of RSUSR 000? 00? Master the name. Master the name. All users will be logged on. How many users will be logged on? I am preparing report. Next one, RSUSR 002. User by complex criteria. Means all user related data is displayed. Next one, RSUSR 003. So zero zero two underscore address means what is that meaning? Only user address data. I three have to go for S C O I M. I three have to go for table level. I three have to go for report level. Everything is possible. So this is these are these are all the predefined program by S A P, right? Yeah, it's predefined. These are R S is there. It's like starting A to X is that is predefined. Okay. So. So this S C thirty eight, we just go and run the report. This is another way of S U one, S U I M, right? Hmm. So, but you have again you want to report, run the report again. You want to give some input only. For example, uh, take user by user a complex criteria again. Okay? Yeah, just run a uh, run R S U R S U S R zero zero two. Click on that. Again, execution button. Execution. Execution button. So, so you want to see the report again, is same, okay? So again, it will go back to the same uh, input yes, parameter. Yes, uh, instead of that. No, no, you don't need to bring any user. Just bring us. They must remove it. Just remove it. Ah, okay, Raghu. Okay, click on execution. Same thing. Okay. You need to bring in background mode also. So I want to show you background. How we can show you background? This report is not simple. Like weekly, monthly, daily. Again, you want to show background. There's a background job. Again, go back. Transition code is thirty-eight. S A thirty-eight. S C. S C A. S C A thirty-eight. Same only. S C A thirty-eight. S C A thirty-eight. If you are showing background anywhere, okay. Hmm. Should be like as a background. Just click on is asking condition again. How can that will explain later? Okay. Again, it's good. Import it at particular schedule time. Just click on schedule it. Schedule. Okay. Schedule once. 
sorry suppose she has shut sorry scheduled as a periodic is nothing but what happened uh, give the report name just give this uh, report name job name job name job name job name uh check her name Scheduled, uh, scheduling once is nothing but only one time is scheduling. Scheduled periodically is nothing but job name. Any name, give the any name. Uh, job name. <laughs> Jed Raghu, Jed Raghu. Naming is Jed Raghu. Hmm. Okay, now schedule as a regular. So periodically. Periodically is nothing but every hour is running or every week is running or every day is running or Okay, just to continue. Got that. Okay, specify the variant. Okay, browse the variant. Variant is nothing but every report you have in this input or input value. Browse it, just browse it. Input value, you have to specify input values. So, SE38 will be taking a report, uh, interactive report. Right, and run the report in background mode. Yeah. SCA 38 will be running the report in the background mode, right? Yes. SCA 38. Yeah, SCA 38. SCA 38 will be running now. Mm, dialog mode. You want to do it, only show you the dialog mode. Uh, run in dialog okay, mode. Okay, no, select anything. Again, any input value like uh, by role you want to preparing, by user you want to reporting or something like that. Okay. Uh, input, give it any input by users, by user ID. Click on okay. That is a variant, input output value of the particular program. Now, that is done. That is done. Now you get a variant that's there. Schedule as a periodic now. Schedule as a periodic. Once is nothing only one time. Time is faster. Then what happens? Then the time time. See time time. Schedule. Just change it to 9 30. Yeah. 21 30. Key in 21 30. This is the background job concept. We'll explain that is also. Yeah. Okay. 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 Every hour, just give every hour is running on, every month is running on, every minute is running on. Okay, you had like. Okay. So just click on execution. Mm -hmm. But uh, it report is scheduling. How we can monitor it? You see, running. Everywhere you are collecting the data, everywhere you check is nothing but go for transition to SM37 background job. Maybe you know this, I think SM37, daily background job. The scheduling is done on SM37. Where we monitoring whether the background job scheduling successfully or not? SM37, right? Hmm. Yeah, now should just click on schedule status, schedule status, check the checkbox, schedule status. Hmm. I click on execution. Execution, execution. Yes. Yeah, there is running on. Okay. Yes. It's running on background mode, but you're not able. There is no use of that. So, you're not able to see the output. Okay. That is getting a finished status. Okay, that is the data is collected. What will based on that? You can printing. That's enough. Okay. But where the data will be stored? Where it will be displayed? Okay, no. Once What's it's scheduled. Just use scheduling yeah. only. Once it's scheduling, that's enough. We don't have anything. Just you getting that. The report is running and preparing a overall gathering. Just get the output is finished. The report is executed successfully, and you can check the logs. Just so the logs report, is. If I want to see the report data, then yeah, just click on that. Just click on job report. Just enough. Again, you have to go for dialog mode only. Oh. Here again, yeah, that's why there is no use of this. Just you are scheduling running weekly or monthly. You can get the data. So this uh, kind of background job scheduling will be something we can say like uh, if you want to do some changes to the database level or application level, they want to do something. Then they can schedule it. But if they want to collect as a report, then it will be dialog mode only. It will be dialog mode only. Background is just a suspending purpose. Even you want to go for any upgradation purpose or everything. Okay.
okay so the application level if they are, let's say the above program write some uh, program uh, yes they have to write and they have to print the job logs whether that particular yes. operation success or not right no no for that is here also they just the identity uh, is getting as just click on uh, once is uh, send me the i think uh, still 4 minutes right the job run at uh, 9 21:30 right yeah yeah it's released only but checking the logs very status is it just click on that um, job name just check the check box job name hmm. check that check check the job name and just click on job logs hmm. no entry yeah. log entry available for select the job it's not taking it started. Started. Once is getting is go, but maybe, or maybe. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay, this is a way of you are to preparing as a user rep. So you go for some uh, other security, mass mass security. This is a majorly you are using as a real time security policy with the security for this overall station. So once open the notepad, what is the transaction you have to cover? So once you have to go for it, now uh, other go for other concepts also. Just open the notepad and just type it. What is the transaction you are learning till now? Yeah, but the first transaction code SU01. So what is SU01? Single user maintenance. Next one SU02. SU one zero, SU one zero, right? Hmm. SU one zero zero one zero two. Maintain the profile. Okay, mass user creation. SU comp. SU zero MP. Yeah. Uh, SU fifty MP of CZ. SU sixteen. SU DRP. SU fifty three. Yeah. PFCG. राइट एस Yes, is sixteen. That's all. All addition mix. All addition mix. Yeah, today. And then the now we learned about the SC fifty four, right? Yes, you I am. Yes, you I am. Yes, you fifty four. Yes, you fifty four. Yes, you I am. Yes, you thirty eight. Yes, you thirty eight. Yes, you thirty eight. Yes, you thirty eight. Yeah. And yes, you fifty four is not there. Yes, you fifty four is not there. Oh, yes, you yes, you fifty four. It's yes, you fifty four. Alar is mentioned. Alar is mentioned. Alar is mentioned. SC sixteen Alar will be there. Uh, no problem. Okay. Okay. My next one. SC thirty six thousand, right? Yes, SC thirty. SC thirty. SC fifty six. Oh, SC fifty six. Alar is mentioned. Authorization group. Authorization group. Authorization group for tables. So that is SC fifty four, right? Authorization of the restriction. Please, yes. Sorry, sorry. Fifty-four, only fifty-six is not there. Yeah, fifty-six is not there. User buffer. SE fifty-four. Fifty-six is not there. All is there. SE fifty-four. Fifty-four only used to create and maintain authorization in group table. Yes. Okay. Next one. Yes, thirty-eight. Yes, thirty-eight. Yes, thirty-eight. Yes. So preparing report and scheduling as a S K A C thirty-eight. Okay. So these are the particles you done from till now for user administration. So one second. Is... Sayed, can you check the job status now? It might be running now. Yes, some thirty seconds ago. Still in the 
is not us assistant is maybe maybe india wider installation is going oh, as well yeah. as yeah oh, yeah india team yeah correct correct <laughs> sorry sorry that is we check the time then i think 7:30 you should go right yeah it's going to be 7:00 no, no. in the evening 7:00 the indian time indian time is ist no problem now again you are restricted that's is yeah it's time time no problem okay Maybe you can yeah, yeah. next one go for sc56 yes go for sc56 user buffer Sir, what particular you just is a buffer based recently what type of authorization is actually applying this state? SU fifty six user buffer. Okay, this uh, see here what happened? Display the authorization data. Okay, what are the authorization objects? And everything is acting. Everything is perfectly done. So see that what happened? Display the authorization by sir. Not able to see the another. You want to see another means there is just like a third icon is just like a third third. What is that meaning? This way, suppose just use right click on that. Raghu user ID. Raghu, you don't have full authorization. Okay. Now, what are the authorization options? Is it just is it buffering purpose? There is no use of it. Just is it just display purposes? Okay. What are the authorization is available and purposes are there? So okay, click on putting a star, star, star. Don't need to put it. No, no. Ravi is user is Ravi. Authorization object putting star. Okay, is that all? Okay, this authorization object click on okay again. Okay, no, no. This by default is taking. No problem. Just click on okay again. Next one, no, no. Okay, next one. Just click on next one. Next icon execution. Continue. Displaying this authorization object is only for Ravu user. Simply today, what is the action? The action authorization object. Okay. Recently, this user web and what is authorization has been seen and what is next we spread again is what I yes yes. Okay. Suppose just go back once again. Just go back. You can enter. Hmm. Click on different user. Third icon. Hmm. Select the different user. Then click on continue. User, just click on continue. Continue. Hmm. Just click on continue. So it will be displaying as a overall authorization object. What other authorization object is available? Okay, one. See, I think. Yes, yes. Three only. So, what is exactly mean this user buffer? Uh, this T code you mentioned, like the user buffer display. Yes, so yes. Yes, yes. Means means recently, what if, means recently, what type of authorization is available? Everything will be displayed. What type of object is accessing? What type of authorization is only last successful or failure will be showing that. Okay, buffer is nothing but recently what type of data is accessing everything is showing here. Okay, so Syed, what happens? Syed having a full authorization means all authorization successfully done. But Raghu, what happened recently? What happened? So you do the table restriction. So that is we'll be checking again. What happened is showing as a SC53. How is looking like SC53 only now? So here authorization check is failure and what are the authorization data we're yeah. showing as? Okay. So, but so you mean to say this one will uh, give all the authorization failure and success report for no, the user? Just report, yeah, for particular user, you can recently today only today. What is the authorization update is accessing? What type of everything displayed? Anything is failure, we'll be showing that today these guys practicing so and so, and that is only one day. Not for next day. Next day again is asking some other thing. Again, that the authorization update also will be displayed here. So it's only for today. Yeah, only one day. So the same the report what we get from SC38 we can get it for from here also right SC56 no, also. This is only for authorization object. No, that is you have to checking overall things. But you are only getting uh -huh. object. Which was getting only all what are the authorization object is missing? What are the authorization object today accessing? That is only showing. 
suppose go back go for sayed user id just click on sayed user id you can change the uh, okay, sg56 now by default is login sayed user id is displaying sayed user id with the overall authorizations what are the authorization of see here what happened is getting as overall list okay. what are the other things everything see here our authorization check was successfully the first tick mark see here first tick is perfectly all right for all authorization object okay you want to do any other changes what happened is showing as so last authorization which is a failure from ago user id s underscore tab underscore disk the authorization object is missing showing so this only shows for the objects only yeah only objects authorization objects only not any other thing okay no for That's not for any reports or so nothing nothing only authorization process okay yeah this is okay okay this all the overall user concept and user administration and the user administration topic so okay now we are to for some advanced maybe in real time maybe your client may be using on that some advanced technique also there so till now you are following whatever it is a project level okay project level training for user administration now we have to focus on advanced means advanced is the but in real time maybe your client are using or not but the concept is available so so till now what will i sir you have to go for as a so how to restrict the particular user id so how to restrict the particular user id so you are using as a so on so like uh, what do we do uh, you are using as a uh, so you want to go for authentication api how to disable the activity that is a one thing that is the first security method you can use it like you have different different security lot of security methods is there but based on the client you can do for changes but the first one only every client is following now you have a second security method also there sir now i want to remove the entire icon from the transaction code okay now our second security method is now i want to remove the icon from the entire transaction code till now what we do icon is there but what i am doing now they are disabling it you have to disable that activity okay now what i am saying here that application whatever transaction using that entire transaction code i want to remove the icon but is very critical job that's why we are considering maybe using on that that's a client based this is very critical most of the government projects are prefer this method because the government projects are very secureable and very risky so that's why what happened those are what last of customization for transaction code so that's why i'm saying this is the maybe your client are using or not the first is till now what have we discussed that is perfect for all clients maybe suppose you have to go for some critical clients you have some different concept also means you want to remove the icons from the entire the transaction okay so how to remove that okay how to customize your transaction also okay then go for just go back So now I will tell you how to remove the or how to hide the icons from the particular transaction code or particular application. Now go for transaction code. This is the optional. I have told this is the optional method. Okay, the first method only every client is following. This is the option. Now go for transaction code SHD zero. Sir, why is optional? Will be go for practical is very very complicated to maintain each and every transaction code. <laughs> now check you enter the transaction code which transaction code you want to remove the icon enter the any transaction code su01 yeah su01 sorry su01 su50 the error icon is done su01 and now here transaction variant means is alias name of your transaction code or input output by the transaction code the transaction code variant should be compulsory jdr violator or else you getting error Okay, give the transaction variant. Z S U zero one, Y S U zero, Y S U zero. Give the Y S U zero one. Okay, then click on the create button. Create the first icon. Okay, just go back and again come back. It's getting like you are getting another like this. Again, go back again. Type because sometimes what happened the program seems to stuck already is taken. So again, type it. Now click on create. 
So what is standard variant and transaction variant here? No, no, that is a starting letter is coming to the A to X letter. Now we go for transition variant. You have to give in ZRY letter. You're customizing. No, no, what, is the difference? what is the difference between standard and the transaction? That is right. standard is nothing but you're using as A to X letters. Oh, okay. 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 And this should be customizing. Now, if you are using only two letters, that is data available. That I am saying, you should be compensated. Data available, you are getting error. Now, click on create. No, just double click on any icon. Which icon you want to remove it? Double click any icon. Any icon. No, no, just click on that. Any double click on the screen. Automatically, it will go for again. Yes, I have the option. Is there. Click on any icon. Double click, sir. Yes. Double click the icon. Yes, okay. Click any icon. Uh. Okay. Now, G, what happened? Now, below is the menu options. So, these are the fields is available. See, what the fields is the username and alias. Like above, guys, are screening. Does it design the screen like this? Okay. Now, go for menu functions. Menu functions. Okay, now go for menu bar again. What are the types of user editing? Go to information, expand the users. Okay, now create icon, change icon, display icon. Which icon you want to? Okay, just double click on that icon. Double click on okay, again. No, display no no double click on is getting yellow color is nothing but it is disabled again create icon i want to disable. no no double click again create icon i want to disable. already is that is there does it double click on it again i want to remove it so now copy also i want delete also i want to remove it copy also you want to remove it lock also you can remove it Hmm. It's okay, then click on OK button. Even if you want to start shortcut like F6, F7, no, that is also you can remove it over there. Now exit and save. Exit and save. Exit and save. Okay, now what are the below summary is there? What are the icons you remove? Copy icon, delete icon, create icon, lock icon, display. These are the five icons you disable. Okay, give the shortcut. Short test. Remove the icons. Where is it? The short test. Above is there. Already the pop up is there. Uh, green, red, color. Okay, good. Okay. Just click on save button. Click on local. Here you're getting as a error. Suppose you get another legend error. Yeah, just click on local object. Save it. Okay, now go back. Okay, now go for main menu. Go to option. Go to option. Go to go to go to go to utilities is there. Nah? Utilities. Go to utilities there. Nah? Go to go, go to. to create the variant transition again. He's asking, just click on that. He's automatically open the SV 93 screen now. Give the transition code SU sorry, why SU 01? Why SU 01? Means instead of standard transition, I want to save Wait, that. No. Okay, short test. Short test. What is the purpose of Y01? Single user maintenance. Short test. Single user maintenance. So this is something like we are creating our own transaction code for the. Yes. Yeah. For custom. Okay. Okay, then click on OK button. Instead of you have to go for standard, you have to create one customizing. Okay, directly do you getting error, but now okay, now again here, what type of below below, what type of GU it is supporting? So where we go see, I use it three sun SAP G for HTML, SAP for Java, everything. Select the ship bug below. So you're executing the GUI level, you can practice it. Uh, now click on save button. Okay, 
you click on save button Check it. Now type the YSUJ1. Automatically all icons are disabled. Okay, nothing is there. Okay, this is well. So the how to assign the particular user ID is nothing but same process. I want to assign this transaction code to the particular user ID. So how you can assign it? Through role concept only. You can go for the yeah, you can assign this. Hello, I just yeah. go to PFCG. Say yeah, PFCG transition go. Just go for Ragu ID and assign this row. Mm -hmm. Click on change the button. Yeah, authorization. When you go for menu, just transaction, transaction. Mm, add the transition code. ISU01. 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 Mm. Click on assign it. Already is having SU01, right? So if no we add ISU01. Yeah, you can remove it, no problem. <laughs> You can remove that. Uh, remove it. No problem. Remove no problem. It. No problem. Yeah. Go for authorization tab. Do remaining all changes also. Go for authorization tab. Yeah. You can't change so authorization. Every time, every time we assign a new transaction code or remove something, this all we have to do again for this role, right? Yes, because of we can already don't know every transaction code we have a lot of authorization objects is there. Hmm. Maybe you're not changing or change, but you do everything. Everything make me as a green color. Okay. Because the transition contains of all authorization object. Without okay. authorization object, you're not generating properly. So that's why this is a very complicated method. Like you want to go for every transaction, could you do customization? It means it's complicated, but it's very secure because of you want to have all the everything high down will be in you know? so. You can generate button. But this will be like very tedious process, right? For all T codes, we have to create a copy of it and then restrict to whatever you want to do. Yeah, that is only, that's why I'm saying this is very complicated and very restricted method. So that's why maximum government project and military project, those guys are using this type of. In India government also, you have to go for only military guys will be using that. Even passport or that, those guys are using these methods. Okay, no, no, just go back. User comparison is not done. Okay, fine. And save and try it. Save it. Login is again login. The station expert is there again. Login. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay, like this. Same screen. Okay. Do you any one more transition code? Remove the PFCG or SUG one G icons. Go for Sayed user ID. So do two more things. How to remove the PFCG icons and how to go for one G icon. Do more two more practicals. Any two transition code. 
slash and ssd zero slash ssd zero So we cannot touch the standard and the screen variants here, right? Only we can touch the transaction variants here. Yes, yes. So when when that uh, transaction? Again, you again you no no no. As a previous is you had remove it. Again, you come into the S G one. Already removing. Cancel. No, no, cancel. Go back, go back, cancel. It's a mother transition code. Go back. Go back. go back okay say so exit uh, exit uh, click exit and say close is not there okay exit and say exit uh, exit and say exit and say okay exit below uh, exit and say go back no need to do anything just go back no okay yeah try you here yeah here see Corrected below, you get the correct and above, you get the wrong. Okay. <laughs> above one, you have to open which transition you want to, and below one is your customizing. Okay, now click on create button. And click on any icon. Go for menu on functions. Okay, even function key also, they like a back option. Those also you can disable it. Back option, display. The function key also like F6, F7. There is, isn't there? Is also you want to disable it. If you did, go for above one. Otherwise, the only function key is above one is the menu bar, normal one. Double click, expand the create, expand the create. Again, create has single create, single role, mass only then. Expand the create. Click on OK. Again here, the icons are different here. Just wait, wait, wait. Here, here, what happened? So here, single rule push button is there, and that is a push button, not for normal icon. So you have to put in as output invisible. Go for invisible and just check it. Single rule, where is the push button? And uh, go for third invisible, invisible column. Invisible, invisible. Third, third column. So, and then you have to go for which one? That is a change push button. So rule push button. Next one is a change push button. I want to remove the uh, what is even single row, fourth one. Fourth one is the single roll push button. Fifth one is the composite roll push button. Otherwise, the icons is available again because these are push buttons. Okay, then click on exit and save. Okay, now click on save. Save again. No, already by local I save it just click it. Now go back. Uh, go for go to main menu. Go to option. Go to option main menu. I uh, no no. Go to option. SHTT0. Yeah. Go to go to say it in the top. Oh, sorry. Create variant plan. Single role role maintenance. Okay. 
ok sign click on ok now select the what type app is supporting and save button Check it is done for with or not. Go for YPFCG. So is there? So everything is removing. Create icon is not available. Yeah, we don't have that push button, right? Create them. Yes. Okay, even above what happened, save icons is not there and back. Back your disable, finding your disable. See the find options also is not there. No, no, it's about okay. Again, you will go for any other SU, SU10 also. Did the transition for what happened? Searching previous one. Now try one more. So Shini, just a, it's just a, curious to know what what is the major thing Shini like disabling the icon or removing the icon completely? It's end of the day function is same, right? Which one? No, no. The the first authentication method, right? We just mm. disable, right? We just create mm. author go things and we disable the icons. Mm. Right? But here we are removing the icon completely. What differs? Nothing. Nothing much differs here, right? Difference, what happened now, when you, the icons is not, you don't do anything. Icon is you do something, you try to do something, and you can get it as you are not authorized like that, but you're not able to do anything now. Okay, so by when they click that, even though it's a disable, when they click it will throw authorization errors, right? Mm. So we just want to. Is, is there you can understand, okay, I'm not authorized this icon, and some icon is not there. So here you right. don't completely display, don't yes. display that. Yes. Okay, try the SG one also. To SU10 also, remove the icon from SU10 also. So, right. uh, next level. so we can say this SHDO is a next level of SC54, right? Mm. Higher level of SC54. You can create uh, S -Y -S -Y -Y SU10. Why, why, why? Okay, now I will click in any icon. Okay, yeah, menu functions. Menu bars, menu bars. Menu bar. This is the function keys F1, F2, F3, F8, like that. Users. Create and change. Give okay, anyone. Create and change. Mm. Lock. It's okay. We can okay. Exit and say. Yeah, just save it, no problem. Just click on uh, fine. Now go back. Go for main menu, go to option, go to option, main menu, go to option. 
create a various transaction to hmm, give the y sv10 short description click on okay like those and save it again how to assign this again go for pfc add this transaction okay this is the method so this is a very customization which so you have to go for to do the each and every transaction could be a lot of time okay that's why i'm saying it's very complicated to maintain as a all transaction goes into a real time okay fine one second share so i'll share my screen no no that is common method again you have to go for your pfc you can add them okay so this is a overview of our your user administration so till now what we done so you have to sharing as a to over mail ids okay and uh, uh, can you send any mail i will send the materials case studies also till now okay. what happened what we discussed i'll give in the chat uh, sri yeah i can give it yeah i will give the details in the chat uh, in the, in the okay. go meeting chat i'm giving the details now the okay, email address uh, one more thing next week you have to go for installation topic okay so here all case studies are also there then this week with what are the ppt i'm explain ppt is also there and the case study also there see all case study majorly mm -hmm. If you want working real time, so go for this uh, SG53. Are you able to see all of you? I think SG53 is there. Okay, so SG53 you can troubleshoot this. What are the things in SG53? What are the errors? Is there everything you have to troubleshooting one by one? Okay, this document you can prepare it. So you have to do so. You have total seven scenarios. Is there seven different problems? Is there? we can do everything one by one okay so now come into here my point so next one we have to go for as a next we can go for the installation topic so now you want to installing sap software so anyone you have to having as a 500 gb hard disk 500 in virtual machine so anyone having the laptop having because of how you want to go for installation is nothing but Okay, installation is that we have to go for as a virtual based missions okay virtual missions so we cannot use that system uh, lab uh, lab server uh, lab server that is what happened uh, that is only our gui level access because uh, those are uh, give the access to multiple members not for you only okay okay so at that time what happened so only when you don't go to any way you can use that server but you don't do any waste level activities and database level activities also okay so as a basis principle you want to learn in compulsory for three levels sap level os level and database level okay okay so even you know how we can preparing as a landscape and those concept you know so that's why what we do so i have to share this sap software also the sap software totally 18 gb is there okay okay and you can download the software and we can come to next class okay and anyone at least one out of this uh, four members at least one guys will be preparing as a uh, 500 gb hard disk with the virtual machine everything is free is there either you have to go for varashkel virtual box or vm bay anything no problem okay okay uh, vm where linux uh, okay or you need a window yeah, okay so windows only there i have windows windows installation windows windows server 2008 or windows server 2011 anything is better 